Okay, hello and welcome back to Zoink TV, I'm Andrew Weir, and this is part of the Quick Tips series, which just means that I'm going to mention something really quickly, probably like a two minute video, and what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be looking at something, um, it's probably quite useful, and if you don't know where all the settings are, then I'm going to tell you where they are, and I'm not going to go too into a, t a whole tutorial with using it, because what I want is for you to use it later with whatever you're doing. So, uh, before now I've done the uh, normals, we took a look at normals, and I've also done how to set the origin as well. Um, so now what I'm going to do is background images. So they are just random things spread out across Blender which you might not know exist. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put a background image to this cube. And at the moment it, it, will, it won't be visible in this view because it's got to be viewed from the front view, the side view, or the top view to actually appear in the scene but it can't appear in the scene in perspective either and what that means is pressing 5 to remove perspective um, will allow you to see it so just make sure if the, if the image that you want to put in the scene isn't appearing just press 5 in the front view and see if it appears after that but we're going to need this, si this side screen here, you can press N to bring it up and N to close it and I'm going to close all the irrelevant ones because we don't need any of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to background images, make sure it's checked, otherwise they won't appear either. And then we've got two options lower down in the settings of image or movie. Obviously, if we pick movie clip, we've got a few more options. We can open our open our movie, and if it's a certain file type, because I don't think all file types are available. It might not work, but I think all image files should work. So let's go to open and I'm going to select my file. I'm going to go for this image that I made from the Blender Guru tutorial. And what we're going to do is we're going to, well, if, it, if, if we were wanting to see this and model it properly, let's say we want to model the orange from this cube, then obviously it's not very useful at the moment because if I change the views around, it's the same in every single one. So this is where uh, modeling references come in because we're going to need to create a, a drawing or copy someone else's drawings um, of, of this shape or an image and we're going to need it from more than one view. An orange is actually circular so it wouldn't actually matter if we were seeing it from the side view or not but if you had a human character you want to see him from the side, model it accurately, go to the front view, see him from the front model that accurately, and so on, so it's all in proportion. And if this were a video, then we'd also press play on the frames, and it will automatically do it per frame, and you'd get a thing playing in the background when you do that. But this is just an image, and what we're going to do is we're going to move it to that orange. Um, you could just move the mesh down, but as you'll see, if I move um, this around, it's not going to be all in the center. So if we want to keep this in the center, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the X and Y axis down here, and I'm going to move it to the right and up on the Y axis. And there we go, I've got it centered to the orange now. We can also change the size if we need to, but I think that was pretty much okay how it was. And there's a few different settings here as well, um, but they're not too important either. And what we're going to do is we go to, we can also do, is we can change it to the front or back. So currently it's the back, which means it's behind all our mesh. If we go to the front, it means it appears in front. And if we change the opacity now, then we can't see our mesh behind the, the orange. Uh, so that's why the opacity exists. Uh, but if we have it at the back, the opacity doesn't matter at all. So it's probably best to have it on full opacity while you've got it in front of your image, um, just to get the best modeling. And then we can just go into edit mode, model that in, or go into uh, weight paint mode or animation mode, pose mode, and we'll um, and we can animate the stuff in the background as well. So really simple. That's basically all there is to it. So I hope you use that in the future, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.